Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm talking about my secret. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm finally able to talk about my secret. It wasn't like a huge secret. It was just I was waiting to get all the pieces together before I talk about it. Because when I talk about it, I wanted to show um, everything. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get on to it. I know a lot of you have been um, speculating. And one person even said on the Facebook group that maybe I, I got um, whatever it's called by Red Heart. Uh, like an ambassador or whatever for Red Heart. I wish it was that. I would love to get free red heart yarn <laughs> however i did become an ambassador of something <laughs> i was contacted by knit crate um to become an ambassador so i accepted <laughs> and if you don't know what that means that means they're gonna send me knit crates um through the mail obviously <laughs> for me to review on my channel just you know to help spread the word about it and they're also providing me with a coupon code um for my viewers, my subscribers, which will give them 20% off their first um, knit crate, which is a good deal because it's already a good deal. <laughs> um, their their normal crate's only $24.99, so 20% 20, 20 off that is $4.98, so you, you'll be paying $20 for yarn and patterns and coupon codes because you get some coupon codes. Anyways, I'm ahead of myself. <laughs> so, um, my coupon code, I'll probably pop it up and it'll be down below, is no catch your name 20 and I'll, there'll also be a special link below that if you click on that link and follow it, and whether you order a crate or anything from their online store today or within 90 days, I do get a kickback from it, which means I make a little percent of money off of whatever you spend through that link. It doesn't mean it charges you any extra. You get charged the same thing you ever would. It's just when Knit Crate gets your money, they'll then take some of that and give it to me. It's a very small percent. If you get uh, a Knit Crate, I get 20% of your first one. And if you stay subscribed to it every month, I get 2%. So it's not really a lot. Like if you buy the $24 one, I get about $5. And then every month after that, I get 2%. So it's, it's a very small amount. So it's not like I'm going to be racking up the dough off of you guys spending uh, money on stuff. It's just, it will help my channel out a little bit. Any bit that I make off of this, if I make anything off of this, I will put back into the channel through um, being able to buy stuff for giveaways, including like Ravelry patterns. Or if I were to need something for the channel, uh, equipment-wise, I would spend it on that. But that's just assuming people actually buy it and actually make more than five bucks. <laughs> If you don't know, Knit Crate is a monthly subscription box through the mail. They send you yarn, patterns, and coupon codes. Uh, they go by themes, and um, you can you have four crates currently that you can pick from. It's just the regular crate, which is $24.99. It comes with, I think, two skeins of yarn, or hanks, depending on what kind it is. Two patterns, a knit and a crochet pattern, and coupon codes, usually for, excuse me, for the people who made the yarn or the people who made the patterns, their shops. There's also a sock crate, which comes with sock yarn. And then there's an artisan crate and an artisan sock crate, which are basically the same thing as the other crates, just they're like hand-dyed yarns from independent um, people. You know, they're not the knit crate people, <laughs> if that makes sense. They're like independent people, which is cool because you get to support, you know, whoever's link you're buying it through, plus the independent dyer or whatever, spinner, whoever it is. And the people who write the patterns. You need to help support all their creativity. The $24.99 box, $24.99 box, is uh, the value of it is anywhere usually between $58 to $63. So you instantly save a lot of money. You already save about $38, depending on the value of the yarns and all that stuff. But if you purchase uh, your first box through my link below or using the coupon code, no kitchen name 20, uh, and you have the extra 20% off of there, you will be getting 58 to $63 worth of yarn and patterns for 20 bucks. So that's a really good deal. And that only works on your first uh, box though. And you don't have to subscribe to it. You can buy just a box. And you can also go onto their website and buy just the yarn if you like the yarn. And I'm pretty sure you can also buy the patterns if you just like the pattern. 
All right, with all the technical stuff being said and out of the way now, I'm gonna get on to the good stuff. Yeah. The good stuff is today I got the first crate they sent me, which is April's. It's not actually a crate, which is kind of weird. It's more, it's a bag. <laughs> a lot of these like um, mystery tackle box and guitar crate and all those are actually boxes that look like crates, but this is a bag, which is awesome still. I mean, it still gets to you. And it's one of those um, bubble wrap bags. So, you know, you know your stuff's safe, even though it's just yarn. <laughs> Pretty uh, teal color. Oh, I You want this envelope? You want to play with it? There you go. You can play with it. You can have it. All right. When you get your first knit crate, or at least when I got my first knit crate, <laughs> this is the first one. I even thought about subscribing to this months ago. I mean, Devin was talking about it because it is a good deal. Because normally these uh, skeins and hanks of yarn are twenty something dollars each, so paying twenty four dollars for two of them is a really good deal. But when you get your, your knit crate and you open it up, you get a card. And this is the theme. This this month's theme, April's, is Golden Hour. Which is a really pretty card, I think. And on the back, I'll cover this because it's got cards on it. It gives you the information about the yarn. And on this side is the yarn and the patterns. And then their, their links to like their Facebook and Ravelry and all that stuff. And then on the side, right there, it has the bonus codes. All right, so the good part of this, you know, the part everybody wants a knit crate for is the yarn. This month, April's month, um, you had a chance to get one or two skeins, one colorway of four different colorways. One one of four different colorways. There you go, that's what I'm trying to say. I can't remember exactly all of them, but there's like a greeny yellow one, a red one, a blue one, and another one. I, can't, I think it's like a brown, brown tones. I don't think I worded that right. I got a very interesting color. And it's the same one Margaret Olander got. When I saw that, I was like, oh my god. I'm a huge Margaret fan. Ta-da! It's called Prickly Pear. It's like, this is not that bright green. It's a little bit duller than that. But it is different shades of green. It's kind of crazy color, but they're not quite neon. And then like brownie greens. When, when I showed it to Devin, he said, I said, look, it's called Prickly Pear. And he thought I said Pickly Pear. <laughs> and he said it looks like a pickle <laughs> but um it is pretty it's beautiful yarn I don't know it's just soft and it's it's twisted the ply is twisted it looks like it's two uh, plied together and it is Audine wools and it's a knit crate um, brand or whatever branch of yarn <laughs> I need to learn my word the colorway is prickly pear, which is kind of hard to say for me. It's a super wash, super wash merino, 100%, and it's a DK weight, so it's it's like a, I think it's called a size three, maybe. <laughs> it's uh, not fingering; it's one up from fingering, so it's kind of on the thicker side. This would be good for making garments, or you could even make little amigurumis or pretty much anything you wanted out of it. I love DK and worsted because they're so versatile. Each hank. There's two of them. Did I already say that? Are 236 yards, and that's 100 grams or four ounces. And it has a suggested um, needle size, and then it also says on there that all the Aldine wools are exclusively hand dyed for knit crate. So these are hand dyed yarns. They're really pretty, I think. They're just they're kind of not my colorway, which is why I'm gonna give them away. <laughs> I'm gonna I want to give them away because. Um, I wouldn't be able to be a Knit Crate Ambassador if it wasn't for my subscribers. So I want to give something back. And in this case, this month, I'm going to give away the yarn that came with it. Squishy, squishy. It's very squishy. <laughs> um, I can't promise that I will always give away the yarn because if like a really pretty one comes and I fall in love with it, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> but I will, this this month, I will give away the yarns. And it's these two. If you haven't seen them already, I'll hold them up. They are pretty. I think it'd be a pretty garment. Which brings me to the patterns it came with. Each knit crate comes with one knit and one crochet pattern. The knit one in the picture is actually that yarn. And it kind of reminds me of... Um, oh, I don't forget what it's called. It was a shawl thingy that was going around. I can't remember now. But like everybody was knitting it. I'm not a knitter, but all the people who do knit that I watch were making it. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but this is the first, this is the knit pattern that it comes with. And it's by Emily Yo Johans. Should I use that? And the crochet one's on the back of the card. 
it is it looks like a cow like an infinity cow or all cows infinity i think they are but it's also got like this not scallop but like the points they both like it's they're both designed with points i guess that's part of the theme and this is another of the colorways you could have gotten and there's a red one and i think a brown color one and this is abby swanson that's called the temptest cow and this one's called floris i don't know how to say that <laughs> But uh, when you get the crate, the co the patterns aren't in the crate. You actually, it's with your email, you go back to the Knit Crate website and you can get the patterns off of there. It's probably PDF. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't done it yet. But that's cool. It comes with two. So if you knit and crochet, you get two patterns. If you only do one, then you at least get one. They had a crochet crate for a little while, but I guess it didn't do as well. So they quit selling it and just added a crochet pattern to the regular crate. <laughs> April's Knit Crate box, um, Knit Crate Crate, <laughs> whatever it's called, is valued at $63, which is the high end of their value range. And it says on there that each of these skeins of yarn are valued at $24 each, which is normal for hand-dyed yarn. That's why I don't usually buy it. I only bought one <laughs> as a souvenir. But so together, just these alone, are $48 and remember you paid $24.99 unless you used coupon code and then you paid 20 bucks for $48 worth of yarn plus the two patterns each are valued at $5 so that's 10 more dollars so that's $58 worth of yarn and patterns plus you get two coupon codes from the girl who designed this one the knit one you get a 10% off of her Ravelry shop and for the other girl who designed the crochet one, you get a 50% off. So that's more money you could save right there. And shipping. Here, let me help you. Here go. Shipping is always included in the price. So the $24.99 uh, knit crate is $24.99. There's no extra shipping. And I think the shipping is valued at $5. It says so on the card. <laughs> If I get and um, I'm not sure I have to look into it Margaret Erlander said that it that counts international shipping but I'm actually gonna look into that and make sure because I know some places it costs a lot of money to ship to um, I looked at Ireland one day and it was like 20 something dollars to send just a little box so I know that it might vary I will look into that though and it'll be in my next update about it all right back to the fun part which is when I mentioned the giveaway for the prickly pear but I want to keep saying pickly pear now that <laughs> Devin thought I said pickle it does kind of look pickles, but pickles are awesome, and it is pretty. Like, it looks a little bit different in real life, but it's pretty. Like, I think it'd be a really pretty garment, like this thing. Or a... This is like a shawl, almost, but I'm thinking like one of those mini shawls, like, um... Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet wears all the time, those smaller ones that don't hang all the way down. <laughs> or a cowl or anything, I don't know. Whatever you want to make with it, if you win. So, I'm going to go into the giveaway... I'm turn my page on my notes. I got notes right here. <laughs> um, as usual, all my giveaways, I've only had one, but all my future giveaways, you have to be a subscriber to my channel. Just because all my giveaways are appreciative, appreciation for subscribers. Because they're the ones that, you know, give me the, the courage and all that to make more videos. And if I were to make any money off of Nick Cray, which I'm not so sure I will, but maybe if I make any, it'll be because of the people who's watching me who saw my coupon code and used it. So, uh, you have to be a subscriber to win. And also, just to be entered, leave a comment below telling me what your favorite type of projects to make are. Mine lately have been amigurumis. So do you like making shawls or blankets or amigurumis or hats? Just let me know below. I just like to get to know everybody and what they're like, like doing. So, subscribe to me. Leave a comment below telling me what your favorite projects to make are. And also for fun, you know, to help me out, like the video and share it. Share it everywhere because the more places it's shared at, the more people will come and subscribe. The bigger the community gets, but also the more I'm able to reach more people to help grow the channel, but also to help encourage everybody. Like, I know there's a lot of new crocheters on the channel here. I've seen a bunch of them in the comments, people saying that they're new. So that's cool that um, us more seasoned crafters uh can outreach and help people who are just learning and it's a lot easier now than it was back then because when i first learned you know i didn't know anything about the internet 
granted I was a kid, but it was still the early 2000s, so like not every house had computer or internet in it yet. And I know we were one of those houses that took forever to get internet access. But now, you know, we can outreach through YouTube and through Ravelry and through email and through Facebook and all these different platforms to help teach each other these crafts and get it growing. So hopefully they will stay alive for future generations. That was a tangent. Hold on. But again, these are the yarns you might win. <laughs> it's open worldwide. I don't care where you're from as long as you can accept I will get you a banana in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> as long as you can accept mail from the United States of America, you can enter. I'm pretty sure most places do. I'll give you a banana in a minute. Hold on. Jesse keeps interrupting, so I guess it's time for me to go ahead and cut this off. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm hoping that it'll help my channel grow. And Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Jesse wants a banana, so I gotta go ahead and hop off here and get him a banana. Also down below will be the coupon code, no catchy name, 20, to enter to get uh, 4.98-ish. <laughs> it's 20% off of your first knit crate order. And the link will be below that if you order anything through it within 90 days, so you have like three months. If you click on it, you have three months between now and three months from now to order something. And I will earn a little bit from it. A little tiny percent. It's like 2%, I think. <laughs> but, um, hold on. Also, all my normal links will be below Instagram, Facebook, Ravelry, and Ravelry page. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.